throw them down to here. Mr. Ron Brown, this is your Ron, case. Ron Brown appearing on behalf of Mr. Johnson. I think this was Nolly Cross, Your Honor. Yeah, I think the court should be in possession of a uh, of an order of nulli prosequi uh, I, I yesterday. Am. All right, this case is dismissed. That's without prejudice. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Your Honor. Uh, I just Thank got you, Mr. Brown. I just got a question. How like, is this? Uh, is that would be immediately dismissed? Yes, sir. Okay. My All name's right. on the paperwork, so if you're talking immediate, it just happened. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Good one. Court calls the cases of the people versus Tierra Quentin. Two cases. Good morning, Your Honor. Grace Burton appearing on behalf of the people. First Assistant Public Defender, Kalina Anderson, with on behalf of Ms. Quinton. Uh, Your Honor, we are appointed on the 795. I did submit a request for Public Defender for the 56777 five, 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 file. Yes, I do see that. So I'll just sign that. All right. That's an arraignment in that file. Quinton? Yes. Okay, state your name, please. Tiara Quinton. All right, Ms. Quinton, you are before the court. Before I get to that, I do have to apprise you that you're before the court on the charge of, you give me the information? Not. Of course not. Oh, no, they tuck it in the back. No, they didn't. Oh, you're here before the court on the charge of possession of methamphetamine and or ecstasy. You understand that, ma'am? Yes. That's a 10-year felony or a felony punishable by 10 years or $15,000 fine plus court costs. You understand that? Yes. All right. You wish to be represented by the public defender in that matter? Yes. This is a public defender case. Thank you, Your Honor. First Assistant Public Defender Kalina Anderson with it on behalf of Ms. Quinton. Your Honor, as to the complaint, we'd uh, stand mute and ask for a probable cause conference date. All right. And then having way for further formal reading and standing mute, court will enter a not guilty plea. And along, you want this set with the other matter, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. I was going to ask for an adjournment of the other PCC so that we can have both cases on one docket. All right, so the PCC, let's do this. Let's adjourn the PCC to the 28th, 2023, 9 a.m. Bond will continue on that matter. Back to the arraignment. I hope I'm not messing you up, Ann. I'm sorry. I'll set bond in that case at $10,000 personal recognizance bond. I'll order standard conditions including no assault to behavior or weapons. There's to be no possession or consumption of any alcohol, recreational marijuana, or any illegal drugs. I'm also going to order, can I see that file? What, what supervision was she under? I'll order community correction standard supervision for testing. You got that? Yeah. Okay. And I'll set the probable cause conference in this matter for September 28th, 2023, 9 a.m. or as your Zoom bite indicates. All right. I think we got all that. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank, Thank you, Judge. Last yep. yep. Court does call the case of the people versus Jason Garrett. Nicole Hughes on behalf of the people. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Excuse, oh, excuse me. Good morning, Your Honor. Marcia Creature on behalf of Jason Garrett standing in for Mr. Robert Killewolf. Mr. Garrett, can you state your name, please? Uh, I'd like to. All right. Okay, what are we doing? 
Your Honor, uh, Mr. Carlotta is requesting an adjournment of this matter, given the fact that he was just appointed and he visited Mr. Garrett, I believe, last night in the Washtenaw County Jail, but he's, he's got some um, items to talk over with Mr. Garrett. So I'll be asking for a three week or two week adjournment. Uh, objection. What's your objection, sir? Uh, I won't be leaving this chair anytime soon. So therefore I think we should just do a breakout room with my attorney and continue this matter. Okay. Sir? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give your attorney, Mr. Killerwald, an opportunity to come down and talk with you instead of doing a breakout room with Ms. Kreacher. And so the court is going to find under the circumstances good cause to adjourn this probable cause to the 21st, 2023 at 9 a.m. I understand that may be over defendant himself's objections, but the court is going to do that. His bond will continue. Thank you. Hey, hey. Thank you, Your Honor. It's whatever you had before. Okay, that's the end of the block. We called some. I'm going to let my staff get set up with the 11 o'clock. Angela Weems. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Ashley Long for the people. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Robert J. Kilwall. Uh, presently, Angelo's attorney. All right. I have um, from you, let's deal with this first. I have your motion to withdraw uh, uh, in the matter. Go ahead, sir. No, that's correct, Your Honor. Uh, um, Mr. Weems doesn't feel like I'm doing the proper job for him. Um, the communication's pretty much stopped. I wish him well on his future case, um, but he does not want me on the case. Mr. Weems, is that correct, sir? Yes, Your Honor. All right. All right, I will grant the motion to withdraw. I've signed that one, and then there is um, having granted that. Actually, I'm signing two orders, but that would mean that Miss the assigned council manager has selected Erica Julian to represent the defendant. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Erica Julian now appearing on behalf of Mr. Weems. So I have defendant's motion for bond at this time, and, and that was filed, I believe, by Mr. Killawald. Would you be prepared to go forth on that bond motion, or you want me to put this out so that you have time to prepare and talk to Mr. Weems? I would prefer the latter, Your Honor. Um, I did receive a preliminary police report, so I could at least briefly meet with Mr. Weems yesterday. And we were able to have that meeting. We did have a conductive, a conducive uh, meeting. We had a good report to begin with. and uh, But there's a great deal of discovery that I have yet to receive. And I think that that would be important to have before going forward with the bond motion. So I'd be asking uh, to put that off as well as an adjournment uh, for about a month, um, about four weeks out, just because I understand that there are about 85 videos uh, that I would need to download and review, as well as receive a medical examiner's report, additional discovery from Mr. Kilowell. There's just a great deal going on. Any response on any of that from the people? Your Honor, it does seem to make sense that Ms. Julian would need some time to get caught up in the case. I will let Ms. Julian and the court know that the co-defendant, Ms. Williamson, is currently scheduled for preliminary examination on October the 10th before Judge Burke. It would, of course, be the desire of the people to hopefully do one preliminary examination between these two defendants. So um, I don't have a objection to the request for adjournment. My request would be if we could maybe consider um, a shorter adjournment for the probable cause conference, perhaps to the 21st, if the court's willing and then um, schedule the preliminary examination for October the 10th. And I will do everything I can to make sure Ms. Julian has all the information. Do you think that would work for you, Ms. Julian? I, and maybe that's the wise way to go. That way you could meet with Mr. Weems 
um, discuss what you can discuss, and then we would still have a little bit of room in there if we needed to before the tenth comes around. I do understand, Your Honor. Um, I know that uh, the co-defendant is charged with being an accessory, and Mr. Williams is charged with the homicide um, itself, and that there may be that there's been uh, investigation done as well as additional investigation that may need to occur. So I it's difficult for me without having everything now to guess whether or not um, it, it would be ample time or adequate time to be ready to go on a homicide prelim on October 10th. Um, well, but here's, here's the other option. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is this. I think I'm going to put it out to the 28th. And then what, what we can do at that point is figure out where you are and maybe even loop Judge Burke into the conversation so that maybe he might put the other one off a little bit to allow everybody to be together if that were what was going to happen. That works, Your I Honor. Mean, Thank you. And Your Honor, the only difficulty is, unfortunately, I'm not available on the 28th. So if, if Ms. Julian, if you do want ah. that date, there will be another prosecutor covering. Otherwise, we could look at the 5th, knowing that the idea may be to go ahead and move to an exam five days after that. I just want to do the best to consider this. The court knows that this matter has been pending for some time. The people have yes. never objected to an adjournment for, from the defense. Um, but unfortunately, with having the two folks going, we do sort of need to move this case along as well. All right. So let's do this. I'll adjourn the probable cause to the 5th of October. That's a, actually that 30-day range you were looking for it anyway, Ms. Julian. Yes, Your Honor. At 9 um well yeah the problem is you know at this point what i'm going to do is i'm going to with i'm going to deny without prejudice the motion for bond so that if you seek to raise it again you may um that way i can put it in the nine o'clock block and do it that way, okay? Yes, Your Honor. And then, um, then we can look at that, and then we can always try to work with um, Judge Burke to just in terms of scheduling and time and and the like. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Right. Thank Erica, you. Um, I have the uh, lab report regarding the desk, and I have a. Uh, uh, Pretty big thumb drive. I'll drop off your office tomorrow. That sounds great. Thank you, Mr. Killawald. Thanks. Okay. You got all that, Mr. Weems? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. So his bond will continue as denied at this point. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thanks, Your Honor. <laughs>